Modern owl species do vary greatly in size, with some of the smallest species being among the smallest of all carnivorous birds alive today, while the largest can rival some eagle species in size. In the modern day, the three owl species most commonly recognised as being among the largest in the world are the Great Grey Owl, the Blackiston's Fish Owl, and pictured here, the Eurasian Eagle Owl. The Great Grey Owl is typically described as being the largest in terms of body length from beak to tail, reaching typically over a metre, whereas the Blackiston's and Eurasian Eagle Owl are usually pretty close when it comes to maximum body weight and wingspan size, with larger individuals having wingspans of up to 6 foot across and weighing up to 8.8 .8 pounds in body weight. As large and powerful as these great birds are, however, they are completely dwarfed by some of their prehistoric relatives. This is Ornimegalonyx, the Cuban giant owl, sometimes referred to as the giant running owl. An extinct species native to the island of Cuba, this giant owl is believed by many to be the largest that we know of in existence. This remarkable and fearsome species thrived on the island of Cuba until at least the late Pleistocene, where it lived alongside a range of other unusual animals, big and small. The size of Ornimegalonyx is quite extraordinary, and it would have been quite the alarming sight in real life, standing at least over three and a half foot tall or more. This owl had unusually long legs in relation to its body size and a short tail, making it vaguely resemble a gigantic burrowing owl, even though it was not closely related, hinting at a similar lifestyle. The long and powerful legs and feet of Ornimegalonyx would have likely made it a strong runner and adept walker on the ground, but unlike the comparatively dainty burrowing owl, this bird was exceptionally bulky and robust in its build, with recent estimates for Ornimegalonyx's body weight ranging between 9 and 14 kilograms. The great size of this bird, combined with its adaptations for hunting more on the ground, hence its long legs, as well as the fact that this bird had a reduced keel or breastbone, along with relatively short wings, indicated that it was likely flightless, or at the very least, near flightless. It is somewhat uncertain whether this giant owl was a strictly nocturnal, or partially nocturnal or crepuscular hunter in life, though it is almost certain it would have hunted much like most other owl species, using its superb vision and hearing to locate its prey. The island of Cuba in this point in time was quite the extraordinary place to see, with a variety of extraordinary creatures other than the owl itself also being present here. The beaches of the island were inhabited by monk seals, and the forests by ground sloths, some of which as big as a black bear. These unique creatures were all under the shadow of the gigantic eagle-like raptor Gigantohyrax, as we have discussed in a previous video, which was almost certainly the apex predator of the island during the day at least. For when these island inhabitants weren't being hunted by the giant eagle-like raptor during the day, they were almost certainly having to contend with the giant owl. Ornimegalonyx was a formidable predator in life, hunting a wide range of other animals on the island, this prey range likely included a variety of ground-dwelling mammals, including selenodons, as well as some species of rodents on the island, some of which could reach up to the size of a capybara. This immense predatory owl may have even hunted some of the ground sloths present on the island of Cuba at the time, some of which, as previously mentioned, could reach up to the size of a black bear. Ornimegalonyx's main killing weapons were its very large and powerful feet and talons, which could grip prey with incredible force. It likely stalked its prey on foot, and then pounced on it taking it by surprise, using its razor-sharp talons to aim for vital areas such as the prey's skull, as is seen with many modern owls today. These formidable weapons, combined with the owl's great size, made it one of the dominant predators on the island of Cuba alongside Gigantohyrax, thriving until the end of the Pleistocene Epoch, with remains indicating that they likely died out sometime around 11,000 years ago. The Cuban giant owl was not the only species of extinct owl once present in the New World, for another giant species also lived in the Caribbean. This is Titopollens, or the Bahamas giant owl, 
a gigantic relative of modern barn owls, which could reach up to one metre tall and was almost as big as the previously mentioned Ornimegalonyx. The size of a large eagle, this huge species used to live in old-growth pine forest on what is now the Bahamas until at least as recently as the last ice age. Unlike the previously mentioned Cuban giant owl, which physically most closely resembled a gigantic burrowing owl despite lacking a close phylogenetic relationship, Titopollens was physically almost identical to a modern barn owl except for the size. It is believed that this species likely colonised the Bahamas in at least the last 400,000 years during a glacial period when particularly low sea levels made the islands more accessible to this bird. It is actually believed that the historical presence of this great owl in the Bahamas was the inspiration behind the legend of the Chick Charney, a mischievous goblin-like creature with three toes and the ability to turn its head all the way around. Many popular online sources refer to Titopollens as being a giant flightless owl, but in reality, unlike Ornimegalonyx, it actually had large robust wings and could probably fly quite well much like a giant version of its modern relatives. Fossil evidence indicates that this great bird mostly hunted a species of large rodent endemic to the island as the mainstay of its diet, and considering its similarities with modern barn owls despite its great size, it seems almost certain it hunted them in exactly the same way as well. Both of these species were unusually large and formidable, but there was yet another species of owl also hailing from the New World that also grew to monstrous sizes. An obscure species of prehistoric owl so gigantic that not only did it completely dwarf any modern species, but also rivaled the two previously mentioned species in size and power. Back in the 1970s, a series of bones were described from a formation in the southwestern United States, dating from the Pleistocene Epoch. Amongst a range of other animals, some were certainly those belonging to a species of owl, though certainly not one from the modern era, because even by owl standards, they were enormous. The largest species of owls alive today, specifically the Eurasian eagle owl and the Blackistons fish owl, can have a wingspan of at least over six foot across, but even these birds seem small compared to this extinct owl, which may have been at least an extra half the size or more. This species, therefore, would certainly be a contender for one of the largest owls that ever lived, with a body size potentially rivalling that of Ornimegalonyx, the giant Cuban owl, but with a much larger wingspan, and potentially even outclassing Titopollens, the giant barn owl, in overall size. Unfortunately, the remains of this bird appear to be very fragmentary, and there is little information about it considering it appears to be an undescribed species as of now, but there are some inferences that can be made. It is believed that this extinct bird was part of the owl family known as Strix, which includes modern large species such as the great grey owl, whom of which it may have resembled in life. Larger species of modern owls, including the great grey, along with great horned owls, and the various species of larger eagle owls, are all highly effective predators that are known to feed on a very wide range of prey. Some, like the Eurasian eagle owl for example, are capable of taking prey as big as small deer and foxes, using especially large and sharp talons, and possibly the strongest grip in the raptorial bird world aside from larger eagles, estimated to squeeze at over 400 pounds per square inch or so. Bearing this in mind, one shudders to imagine the potential power and hunting ability of this gigantic extinct owl, which itself possessed enormous talons and a gripping power in its raptorial feet that would definitely outclass any modern species. Based on the behaviour of its modern relatives, this gigantic owl was most likely a nocturnal hunter that swooped down on unsuspecting prey, even particularly large animals, including a species of long-nosed peccary that could be as large as a grown man. These animals had especially large and sharp canine teeth and an attitude to match considering their modern counterparts, but even they may not have been safe from this gigantic aerial hunter, which would have most likely shared another trait of modern owls, that is a silent flight, to take them by surprise. This immense owl would have filled a similar predatory niche in a nocturnal setting to its diurnal bird of prey contemporaries, 
including one in particular, the gigantic Woodwood's Eagle, which would have been likely similar in size and may have at one point lived in the same place at the same time. So it seems that prehistoric North America, during the Ice Age at least, was roamed both day and night by gigantic prehistoric eagles and giant owls, as if all the other awe-inspiring creatures around at this time weren't enough. So during the era of the Ice Ages, the New World was home to these three gigantic owl species, possibly the largest in existence that we know of. It just goes to show that during prehistoric times, Diurnal birds of prey were not the only family of predatory birds that became gigantic, with these nocturnal hunters likely being just as formidable. <laughs>